Saturday. Welcome back, everyone. Anti-American protests now spreading across the region in Yemen, in Egypt, Iran, Libya. How will this affect the race now for the White House? Here to weigh in our political panel this morning, former campaign manager for Howard Dean and Fox News contributor Joe Trippi, columnist for Bloomberg Business Week and author The Entrepreneurial Instinct, Monica Mehta, and nationally syndicated radio host and author of 50 Things Liberals Love to Hate, Mike Gallagher. Good morning to you, Paul. Morning, morning. Great group assembled here. All right, Monica, ladies first. Let me start with you. Does this change the course of the election at all? I don't think it changes the fact that people at home are still worried about the economy and they're wondering how to find a job, how am I going to keep the one I have, and how am I going to pay for everything that I need to pay for? And I think that's still first and foremost in the mind of the American today. Mm -hmm. Mike, the latest polls before this uprising showed that most Americans, 10 to 15 percent, only concerned about foreign policy. Does it change? I think it's a big game changer because, frankly, Americans are paying attention. They're, they're noticing things like, in the middle of all this, President Obama announced that he doesn't have time to meet with Israeli uh, Prime Minister Netanyahu, but he does make time to visit with a Miami, Miami DJ known as the Pimp with the Limp. Uh -huh. So he's got time for the Pimp with the Limp, but not for the Prime Minister of Israel. He's got time for David Letterman. And let's face it, this, this whole canard that his schedule is too busy to meet with the Israeli Prime Minister, this is the leader of the free world. His schedule is whatever he wants it to be. Once again, he snubs the state of Israel. I think the American people are noticing things like this. But aside from DJ interviews and the like, uh, Joe, what does it say about the president's foreign policy? Is it a mess right now in the Middle East? Well, the, the Middle East is going through a massive transformation, been doing it since the invasion in Iraq, and, and it's going to continue for decades. So, I mean, this is going to be, and by the way, on Fridays today. Wait a minute. Are you uh, saying, so, so what you're saying then is that Obama going to Cairo and giving that speech in 2009 had no effect on how the Muslim nations. No, that's nations part of the transformation. And it's, I mean, invading Iraq was part of the transformation that's occurred. It, I think it, it, democracy in Iraq created uh, a, 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 a sort of inertia towards more democracy across the Middle East, which is why which we is saw something. Thing. Yeah, right. Thing, right? All, uh, all of this, it, but it's not not like, boy, democracy. This is the problem we have as a country is, uh, is that we believe if you give democracy to, to, to a country, that's it. There's well, no Supreme Court. There's no institutions. Well, let me, let me be clear, though. You're saying on. because President Obama wanted to do something very different from what President Bush did, at least in his mind. So you're saying that no matter what the president does in the United States, you still have this mayhem in the Middle East. Well, you, you're going to have, look, you've got Shia and Sunni. They're divisioned in. I mean, and they're fighting each other for power and, and influence within the entire region but, but, Iran, but, but if I may, and, and Saudi Arabia but Joe, isn't it a good, I mean, but is it a good thing is, is democracy happened. in the Middle East a good thing well, it, their, their sense of democracy is different from ours. See, this is the problem. This is, this is the different vision between President Bush and President Obama. A lot of liberal Democrats are going to say, you know, listen, you just can't hand over democracy. They're no, you blaming, can't. You know, we just it, keep going from no, distraction have, to distraction. No, no, There's no, just no, one look, thing going it, on to the next, it, and it doesn't, doesn't change the fact that the people over there think the way I've they been, think. Look, I've been on, on the ground for months in the red zone in Iraq, and what I'm saying is ha it, it would sit there with the Sunni and, and Shia, and, and there are divisions that are going to take a long time to air out. I'm not, democracy is good. That's not the point. Yeah, but it's, the point it's, I'm trying to get to is whether or not a tomorrow. presidential policy that's so different from one to the right. next actually makes any difference at all. Panel, stick around because we've got to tackle this next topic. New videotape shows reports.